So after one has gone through a traumatic experience, and remember what I've just said, that it is not the event itself that causes trauma, but your response to that uh, event. And I've given the example of uh, St. Bakita, how she saw uh, our experience in a positive way. But this does not mean that uh, someone did not go through some level of trauma and uh, did not experience some symptoms of trauma, but it's just that in the healing process they are able to look at the event in a very different way. So maybe some of the symptoms of a trauma uh, that I can talk about is uh, maybe recurrent and wanton uh, distressing memories of the traumatic event. And so you get to a place that you're having a lot of uh, flashbacks, like your mind just gets back to the event. Now, just a few days ago, I, um, there's a friend of mine who visited me, and uh, I've been trying to call him for some times. And, um, you know, initially he was uh, someone that you call and they answer immediately or they respond immediately. And when they have not, they won't be able to reach out and call you. Uh, but with him, I just noticed the beginning of the year, towards the end of last year, actually, I just noticed that he was not answering any calls, not texts, not WhatsApp messages. And I was worried about him. Um, but then one of the days he told me, I, I think I just need help. And so we, 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 we met in one of the, um, the malls and we sat down and we started having a conversation. And I came to realize that sometimes last year in April, he got an accident. Um, they rolled in a vehicle. Uh, there's, um, luckily enough, uh, by God's grace, there's none of them who was injured. And um, then he tells me, like, he moved on well and he had no issue. And then uh, a few months uh, later, uh, I think it was like three or four months after that, um, he, he just saw uh, another guy who was, I think, was hit by a car and he died. And he's the only one, I mean, he's the one who arrived there first, so he had to call the police. And this is the first time he saw the body uh, of a dead person. And so at this moment, he tells me, all the flashbacks of his own experience started coming back. And he was feeling like uh, he's losing it. It's like he's in the real uh, accident once again. And this time round, he's going to lose his life. So he's trying to stop that thought and he cannot. Like from every time he remembers uh, what really happened. He tries even to sleep at night and he is not able to. He has a young family. And so even the wife sometimes doesn't understand what is this that is happening. He just keeps on, you know, the wife will tell him from time to time, like, but you know, that was an accident, you survived. Actually, you should be grateful, you should thank God. But these constant recurrent thoughts that he would have died, he would have left his son, his wife, um, I think keeps on really bothering him. And so that's what we are calling recurrent event. So, uh, or recurrent thoughts or emotions or memories of that particular event. Of course, also relieving the traumatic event event as if it were happening again and I think that's what I'm trying to share here that uh, the mind just goes back to that particular event again so if it was like the event of fire that happened at um and because recently you realize that constantly you have the thoughts of uh, anything uh, at, I mean at any point there can be uh, a fire and you can die you can get into the same crisis so it's almost like you're constantly in that particular situation uh, through and through and actually even at this moment I know there are many people who have gone through um, that fire at, um, at, at the Ambakasi and they are struggling with a lot of trauma and mostly you know in the hospitals people are treating the physical injuries because they are not aware that there are psychological um, injuries that actually need to go through um, psychological support for someone to be able to recover from that. And so that's why trauma, honestly, is something that at times we are not able to address properly. Remember that if you fall and you're broken, it is very easy for us, actually, to come and, uh, and see that your leg is not moving, is immobile, your hand is, you know, is not um, moving on very well, and therefore we can tell that you're broken here and there, but psychologically we are not able to tell where the person is injured, and so um, when you're constantly relieving those traumatic events, uh, people do not seem sometimes to understand, unless you're dealing with people who are really psychological, have a, a sense of a psychological awareness, and they can understand that trauma can uh, really affect even uh, your memory can affect um, your current emotions, you know, what I, I mentioned earlier on, unpredictable emotions, you know, from this time you wake up, you're feeling on top of the world, and the next minute you're feeling like uh, you, you, you want to die, so something like that.